the season one, we see you are silver eyed and uh, standing in front of the corporate of Ilaria. Can you elaborate on anything that's going to be seen in season two, like in the very early stages? Um, what I've gotten from mm -hmm. season two already, I know that my character, just like the first season, I went through a pretty intense character arc. I mean, they really love to put me through the ringer yeah. to torture me, don't they? Mm. You know, the box, the muscle, yeah. <laughs> the hole. Getting infected. Like, okay. um, the shower attack. Um, <laughs> but uh, what I've gotten from the first episode that I've seen, it's it's really going to attach to the psychological thriller aspect of the show, which was kind of my favorite part, to be honest. It's what makes it unique and mysterious and spooky, and it's going to go far into that. Um, and I'm still trying to find out what's happening with me. I mean, I think she might start playing a number of angles, and uh, I know that our writers like to screen things on this last minute, but I, I think that I'm going to be all over the map. Yeah. And even for me to figure out, every time I get a new episode, just like last season, it was, that's happening to me now? Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, it's, um, and because it's sci-fi and because the way we shot this show, they just gave a lot of creative freedom. And so we can kind of go anywhere. And um, that's the exciting part. So I think Jules is definitely, I mean, let's face it, she had a lot taken from her. And um, and a lot happened to her. So there's the core of who she was, but some of those things will change, but then she's going to hold on to some of that. So I guess people do whatever they have to do to survive. Did you know prior to that shower scene what was going to be happening? Because that was one of the... I was like through my fingers. I know. Because it was like they set it up, you're in the shower, and then all of a sudden you're like you know, looking around and it just was so intense, and then Peter just comes yeah. in and that black oh it was well, scary what's funny is that when we started shooting i'd only read the pilot episode and then we're in the middle of shooting i get episode two and I said oh so there's a shower scene that's interesting um <laughs> thanks guys yeah uh, but um yeah that was that was a surprise too but i thought it was amazing yeah and it was a lot of fun to shoot honestly just because uh brad turner our director on that one he's a really classy guy and i'll admit i was a little nervous because I, I didn't know how they were going to shoot it and I'm a mom, I've had two kids, nobody needs to see that, like, but how, how are we shooting this, buddy? Um, <laughs> but he's, he's a classy guy, and he said, look, it's just going to be frosted glass, and it's going to be just really about the relationship and the whole, I felt so completely comfortable. Uh, Neil is awesome, he's a great person to work with, he's totally professional, and I knew him from before, too, and so... I just felt I was completely comfortable with the crew, with everyone, and we were just able to go for it. It was ended up being a lot of fun to shoot that scene. Well, it turned out terrifying. It was terrifying. It, I mean, you, even when I watched it, I still felt this thing in my stomach. And, and to be honest, they pulled back on what they showed because what they shot, I think the first cut was, it was really long and the screaming that was happening. I wasn't, I didn't know how I was, we didn't have anything planned, but the way that I was screaming is just, it just gets you in the stomach. It's just not good. But Are they going to be revisiting the love triangle a little bit for the second season? Um, I'm sure that they will. I think there's going to be, there might be a couple of triangles going on. Um, and something that I love about the way they did this show is with the, the women characters, at least, and especially with Julia, she's not there because of her ex-husband. She doesn't exist because of her relationships, and I think that's important with women in TV and film. That's why TV's gotten so good. The female characters are amazing these days. Um, so I love that they would set something up and you want something to happen, but they never either have time to address it or there's always something better to do. And I thought that was really interesting about last season, that you don't, that her and um, Billy Campbell with Alan, like we, we didn't have a conversation about us until episode 10. And so I thought that was, that was really interesting. So those things are going to, even in the first episode of season two, there's some interesting things that happen, but it comes out in a way that you don't expect. Of course, because it's even it's sci fi. So. <laughs> so there's a new location. We, we can't no. talk about specifics, but, but how is it like kind of working in this new environment? Um, well, I haven't been there yet. I haven't uh, seen it yet. We start shooting in two weeks. So um, I'm actually heading to Montreal straight after this so I can get settled and, and um, start training and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. All I know is Jules is going to have some pretty exciting stuff coming up, so I'm excited. Yeah, there's a lot of physicality in the show, too, so mm -hmm. you do have to train. Yeah, yeah. So there will be no, since it's not going to be in the Arctic, you don't have to put on the... I hope I don't have to wear that coat. <laughs> and I'll tell you, Billy is going to be really excited that he doesn't have to wear that coat. Because the truth is, we got there in July when we started shooting to put on those 
big mm, crazy yeah. coats. <laughs> that was that was tough on a kid, you know. <laughs> there was a point we were on set one day, and there was one of these big uh, white tubes that pumps all the air conditioning in, and I look over and Billy's laying inside the tube, taking a nap. And I just close his eyes and said, ah, this is great. Now just just tell me when I have to go back out there. It's so funny, and he doesn't care. He's like, it's, it's hot, I'm getting in there. So, um, yeah, hopefully we don't have to wear that. I visited the sets in Montreal for the, the Sci-Fi Digital Tour, and I was really impressed with the quality of them. Yeah. And all the different, it was actually two different facilities. It was mm-hmm. amazing. Of course, when you shoot it, it all looks like one. Well, and it's pretty incredible what they did with a lot of those scenes that were shot in the big building, um, just because the hallways were so thin. And so um, Steve McNutt, our DP, and lighting that was a really interesting issue because they had to figure out how to get in there and how to get the angles and stuff, but it really turned out beautiful and spooky. And, you know, it just suited the show. So, um, but I am I am kind of glad that we don't have to go back there. <laughs> Especially the cold room? Well, well, there was that one room. There was a couple episodes. I was trapped in that one room, and you have to bring the whole crew in there, and that room is tiny. It's, it's like everybody starts getting claustrophobic after a while. So... But, uh, yeah, it, it was fun. How has it been working with uh, Hiroyuki, who plays Hiro? He's fantastic, and I just love you got, the scene you have together with him. But he's just, he just seems like he's just... Okay. He's amazing. Yeah. He's, uh, I, I've learned a lot from him, just as, a, as an artist, as an actor, as just a person. I think he's just a real, he's a real class act. He's a great guy. Um, he's always completely connected and there for you. He probably, I think he's one of the hardest actors, I've, the hardest working actors I've ever seen. He's so disciplined and um, and kind. I mean, he's just, he's, he's how everyone should be when you go into work. So what was great about, I feel fortunate that I had such a close relationship with him on the show because like I said, I just got to soak up <laughs> knowledge and experience by just being in scenes with him and he's completely right there for you. You feel like you could kind of do anything. Yeah. So I, you know, you're only as good as your scene partner. I mean, that's what they say as actors and I, I think that if anything that I did played well, it was a lot to do with who was opposite. So. Yeah. Did he show you his ninja moves where he's dodging books? Oh, yeah. That Jerry Ryan scene where she just throws a book and he's just... And every time. And, and, and he's just, and that was the thing, Jerry, I told Jerry when she showed up, I become really close friends with her and I said, you don't understand, you're so awesome. She's like, yeah, yeah, you're or whatever. And then she got and said, she goes, he's awesome. I mean, he's just every single time. He's just trying to catch it. And, I mean, she was just, like, everybody gets blown away by him. He's just, he's, yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. Great. It seems like a really fun cast. You guys all seem like you have really good chemistry and camaraderie. Yeah. And, and what was great, you know, a lot of times when you're working on stuff, people are hiding out in their trailers, and we, we didn't. We, we had a little table. We just hang out together, and um, it was, everybody was ready to work, and willing to go, so it was a good dynamic. It's Great. It should be. I'm looking forward to season two. Oh, so am I. Yeah. So am I. Have you started shooting yet? No, two weeks. Okay, two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. For um, Julia's journey this season, what is she kind of looking for? What is she looking for? <laughs> well, she left the base in a way that made us think she was wanting some certain types of answers. So is she still pursuing those kind of answers? I think so. I think that's something that, what I love about what the writers gave me, what they set up with this character, is there's so much for her to uncover. And it's, it's really fascinating, the story that they build and the characters surrounding her. Um, but, you know, a lot's been taken from her. Um, a lot's happened to her in this last less than two weeks, <laughs> 13 days, and so uh, there's going to be a lot of um, there's going to be a lot of things that she needs to figure out to figure out where her place is in the world now. You know, she's, she's very different now. So, so what side does she pick? What does she do? How does she? How does she? Uh, how does she put herself in this world now? So, I think so. I think there's going to be a lot of things that she'll keep uncovering. Well, she's starting from a place of fear or curiosity. Um, in my opinion, uh, and, and here's the thing, sometimes when you're shooting with TV, how they give you these scripts right before you start shooting, sometimes you figure out something about a character or a relationship in the scene. I mean, even even when I was doing episode two, I remember I had all these questions about my relationship to, to Alan, what was the problem, what was the issue, and we tried this one scene, um, 
where I'm by myself in the airlock and I'm kind of panicked about what's just happened. It was right before I get attacked in the shower and he comes in and I kind of covered everything up and just started talking to him. And I discovered that in the scene that I think he just was never quite there for me like that. So that helped me just because we were shooting that day and that's just what came out. It helped me figure out, oh, maybe that was a piece of our relationship because you're, you're learning things as you go. So um, I think that in the moment, you just start to, to figure something out and you hope it plays. <laughs> and, and then you work together with your directors and, your, you know, and they all seem to know more ahead than we typically do. Um, so we'll see. I'll see. We'll see if the writers keep it close to the cuff like they did last season. Because sometimes it's like, please, we're shooting tomorrow. Can I, can I have some pages? Or <laughs> what do you think? What's gonna happen here? But it's always a surprise, and um, and you just kind of have to go with the flow and be spontaneous. And play Thank with you. It. Okay.